Well, Columbia Mayor Steve Benjamin is hoping to bring fun and games, a front porch atmosphere to the state house grounds, but that proposal is being met with challenges. Good evening and thanks for being with us. Darcy is not feeling well tonight. News 19's Lauren Thomas has been following this story for you uh, for us now, and, and she's here to tell us more about these plans. When we say fun and games, we're talking about bringing all sorts of things to the state house. That's right, right, JR. Some of the plans include bringing Adirondack chairs, umbrellas, hammocks, those kinds of things to the state house grounds. Uh, and that's all thanks to a grant that they received at the beginning of the year for $190,000 to install these hammocks, umbrellas around the state house grounds. And the idea is being met with opposition. So what are your thoughts on the possibility of having a ping pong tables, hammocks out here on the state house grounds? I think it'd be really odd uh, in front of the state house. I think it'll draw more people out to the grounds. I definitely think that having something that anybody can do, I think that would be very interesting to see. We have a lot of homeless, so um, that may bring them, or have them to come down, but more so I just see a lot of positive. There were mixed feelings from people we spoke with at the State House on the City of Columbia's plans. Back in January, the Knight Foundation announced the City of Columbia as one of their grant recipients for the city's state front porch proposal. According to their website, the plans encourage residents to connect with their government by reimagining the State House as a front porch for all. The only problem is the grounds are state property. It doesn't belong to the city of Columbia. It belongs to the entire state of South Carolina. Lexington Senator Katrina Sheely helped start a petition encouraging the city to remove their proposal. She says the $195,000 in grant money they received could go to places like Finley Park. Let's take some money and fix that and, and have those beach chairs and hammocks and, you know, cornhole games and big checkerboards or chessboards. And let's put that over there, something that actually belongs to the city of Columbia. The State Department of Administration also responded to the city of Columbia, saying in a letter that the administration does not believe these proposed alterations can be made while maintaining the appropriate decorum, aesthetics, or level of dignity required for the grounds. Such a drastic transformation or alteration would require legislative action. Now, Mayor Benjamin is out of the country at this time and could not provide a, a comment on this story, but in a letter he sent to Governor McMaster about the project, he explained that the city would monitor the space to prevent damage to the grounds, but still don't know if this could be a possibility. It sounds like the mayor may want to move forward with this, right. but again, the opposition is growing out there. It is growing, All and right. it requires legislative approval as All well. All right, Lauren, thank you so much.